Hi, this is Har Amrit Singh Sandhu. I am assistant professor in civil engineering department at Punjab Engineering College. And today we will discuss estimation of reduced level using HI method and rise and fall method. Before moving further, we must be aware of basic things. So I am going to discuss objectives and important terms which we use in leveling. So there are two objectives of leveling to determine reduced levels of desired points as well as to establish points of known reduced levels. Okay, so there are some important terms which I am discussing here. First one is benchmark. We know that benchmark is the permanent reference point of a known reduced level. Backside, backside is the first reading which we take on the benchmark only. Foresight is the last reading and then intermediate sight. These are the readings which we take which we take between backside and foresight. Then this is very important that is change point. Change point is that point where we take two readings that is foresight as well as backside on one particular point. So that is a change point. Now we will see what is change point and rise and fall method. In this diagram, you can see this is the benchmark. Benchmark is the first point where we have to take reading from the auto level and the first reading which we take from auto level that is known as backside and the last reading which we take from auto level that is known as foresight. All other sites are known as intermediate sites. So you can see that this is the first point and this is I'm assuming that after this point i cannot take another reading so what i have to do i have to shift position of this auto level to some other position so i am shifting the position of auto level and then i will take the reading when i shift this position from first point to second point first reading is to be taken at the last point and this we know that first reading is known as backside so on this particular point i am taking two readings so this is known as change point or some books it is written as transit point also so you can see that this is that point where i am taking two reading first one is foresight and another one is backside so this is change point now we will discuss about the rise and fall when we say that a particular point is in rise or a particular point is in the fall by using level readings so here i can see that first reading is 1.9 and last reading is 1.6 now even you can see the terrain as the terrain is low or lying in the low position reading is more but as soon as terrain is at higher position reading is less so what i have to do i have to see if i want to determine whether this particular point is in rise or fall so i have to compare it with the previous position so if the previous position is more that means reading of the previous position is more then we say that that particular point is on rise okay similarly if previous reading is 0.6 and a particular point has reading as 0.9 so we can say that this point is at fall so you can easily understand thus if previous position of a particular point is showing more reading then that particular point is on rise so now we will start with the rise and fall method so you can see here that some readings are given serial serial wise 
so this is the first reading second third fourth fifth reading and it is given in the statement that reduced level at first point is 432.384 meter and instrument was shifted at third sixth and eighth reading to solve this numerical we have to make this type of table serial number backside intermediate side four side rise for reduced level remarks etc now we will know or we will try to understand how to complete this table since we know that first reading is always backside and last reading is always foresight now it is given that instrument was shifted at third sixth and eighth reading so we'll see first second this is third reading fourth fifth sixth reading seventh eighth so this is eighth reading now it is given that instrument was shifted at third sixth and eighth reading that means this point becomes foresight this point also becomes foresight and this also becomes foresight since instrument was shifted after this point since this is foresight i also know that after foresight we have to take back side that means this is the first position after instrument was shifted similarly this point is also back side this point also becomes back side and this point this is the remaining point so this point also becomes intermediate side and this point becomes intermediate side so now i know how to fill this table so now if you write all these readings in table then you can get this type of table now we will try to understand how to fill these column that is rise and fall column since we are aware of the rl of first point now i want to estimate rl of the second point so what we have to do we have to see the previous reading of the level since previous reading of the auto level is more then i have to write rise in this row similarly for third row previous reading is 1.6606 that means more than the reading that means again i have to write in the rise column so 660 so 2.228 minus 1.606 and this comes out to be 0.622 similarly for the second reading again i have to subtract 1.606 and 0.988 so this will becomes 0.618 now in this row or in the fourth position i have seen that the previous reading is less than the current reading so that means i have to write in the fall so again i will subtract this and i will get 0.774 similarly i will complete all this table and you will get result like this so now you can easily understand what we did back side intermediate side four side and this is these are the readings from the first position similarly we have completed this back side intermediate side and four side then we have to calculate rise and fall i know that for the particular position if i want to estimate rise and fall then i have to compare it with the previous reading similarly from the previous reading and previous reading so i know whether that point is in rise or in fall so i have completed this rise rise and then i can calculate how to calculate reduced level that means reduced level if there is a rise then i have to add but if there is a fall then i have to subtract from the previous rl so what i have to do 
reduce level plus rise and reduce level minus fall so from this you can calculate the reduce level of all the points using rise and fall method now second method to calculate reduce level is hi method or height of instrument method before moving to calculate a reduce level we must be aware of what is hi you can see in this diagram the reduce level of first point is 100 and reading which we get using auto level is 1.5 here this is intermediate site or four site then this is 1.9 and we have to calculate reduce level of the next point i know that hi is equal to rl plus back side similarly if i want to calculate rl of second point then it is hi minus intermediate site or hi minus four side why this intermediate site or four side because second point or the next point can never be back side it can only be intermediate side or four side that's why the reduced level of second point is height of instrument minus intermediate side or hi minus four side now we will see how to calculate reduced level using hi method now we will use same readings or same statement for calculation of reduced level using hi method this is the first position and these three readings are there then this is the second position of the readings and this is the third and this is the fourth position so i can mark it here also just like this so this is the first position this is the second position and these are the readings taken in the third position and this is the fourth position now we have completed this table backside interior foresight and now we have to calculate hi since i know that hi is reduced level plus backside so what i will do i will just add 432.384 and backside so i can calculate hi here so hi is 434.612 now for the first position hi is constant now for the second position to calculate rl i know that formula is hi minus intermediate side so hi minus intermediate side i will calculate rl so this rl will be 433.006 for the third position please don't get confused here you you can see here clearly that first position gives me these three reading so i have to use this reading only for calculation of rl so here i have to calculate rl rl is hi minus this so i can calculate this as 433.624 here i have shifted the position of auto level so here i have to calculate hi again and i know that hi is equal to reduce level plus back side so reduce level plus back side so here hi will change so as hi will be in this condition is 435.714 now for the next position i have to use this hi only so similarly i will in the change point i have to calculate rl first and then hi so you can see that at every change point i have to first fill reduce level and then second is fill hi then hi will be continuous for the next reading so similarly you can get all the readings and you can see here that you will get this type of table so and you can also see that all these readings or all the results of the reduce level this is the same as we calculated in the rise and fall method thanks for watching like and subscribe thank you